Um, so now let's look at the other one. The other one is, and also uh, one thing to point out, we're going to compare them. So this is a two-dimensional coordinate system. How many numbers does it take to describe a vector? Two, right? Two-dimensional coordinate system takes two numbers. So let's look at the other one, the Cartesian coordinate system. So does anybody know who the Cartesian coordinate system is named for? Rene Descartes, right. So I call it Rene Descartesian coordinates, okay? Rene Descartes would have been, the, it was, one of the, invented all kinds of stuff in science. Would have been the greatest scientist ever. If I showed you the slide, he comes after uh, Galileo and before Newton. But he became obsessed with philosophy. Oh, so close. He was figuring out how the universe works, and he thought, wait a minute, how do I really know that? My senses are fallible, so maybe when I turn the light switch on, that's not why the lights go on. And then the rest, then he just wasted his life, you know, but whatever. <laughs> he could have really made a difference. Okay. So let's say our example is uh, four meters per second I hat plus uh, three meters per second J hat is how you write it. Okay, so those unit vectors, hope that wasn't a philosophy major, those unit vectors really uh, give people hives, so we're going to talk about it. Okay, so what you do is you draw a vertical and a horizontal. So this is the plain old coordinates that you're used to, Cartesian coordinates. By tradition, you make this plus x. By tradition, you make this plus y. I usually mean that the origin is there if I don't say anything. All right, so it's just an x, y system that you're used to that makes a lot of sense. And you describe it, uh, we'll call it v again. Pretend this is a, it is a velocity vector, uh, with, not magnitudes, um, components. So that is a word that we want to contrast to magnitudes, and we'll call it Vx and Vy. Okay, let's contrast for a minute. Here, we care about magnitude and angle. It took two numbers. This is always a positive number. It's a length, and this is an angle. Here, it's going to take two numbers, two components. Here they are, Vx and Vy, but they're not magnitudes, they are components. They can be negative, okay, can be negative. So let's draw them. So what that means is these are scalars. So we say Vx is a scalar, and we just measure out to where Vx is. Uh, Vx is this one. So we measure out 4. There we go, 4 in this case. And then this one is Vy, the one that we call J hat, whatever that means. We'll get to that in a minute. So then we go up 3. Uh, 3. Right. So the vector is sort of at the intersection. If you want to draw yourself a couple of dotted lines there like that, there it is. So there's V right there. Okay. So again, it takes two numbers, just like it takes two numbers over here. Any vector could be described in either one. Oh my god, I forgot to draw. Uh, Rene Descartes, like this, got the, big, the goatee action, the crazy hair, like that. There we go. Okay, so now here's how we write it. I don't write in like logical order, sorry. Okay, so then I sort of I've accidentally gave it away over here. We'd write it, for, uh, no, I'm doing it with symbols now. You see, so you put it, whatever Vx is, i hat, plus whatever Vy is, J hat. So all that means is Vx along the x-axis, Vy along the y-axis, and make the vector go to the corner of that rectangle. Okay. So Vx and Vy are components. They can be negative. And then i hat and j hat are unit vectors. So that's, that's a concept you need in a Cartesian coordinate system. I'm not supposed to tell you this because you're bioscience people and you'll freak out, okay? But I'm gonna take a chance and tell you this. There are unit vectors in this coordinate system. Okay, there is a theta hat, okay? Shh, it's okay. There's a theta hat. Just in case you become mathematicians, I want you to know that, okay? Um, so I and J are unit vectors. Uh, they give a direction, but they don't affect the magnitude of the vector. And the reason is each one of them has a magnitude of one. That's why it's called a unit vector. 
right? So you're saying Vx along the x-axis, and this is just one, so a distance Vx along the x-axis, like this, plus a distance Vy along the y-axis, like that, and then that's the answer, okay? You're really just adding, it's a vector addition. When we do vector addition in a minute, you'll see uh, how it all works, okay? Unit vector is also the funniest of all the vectors because they have a caret top on there. That's a caret on the top of the thing, okay? I met him this summer, so I thought that was relevant. 